Let's create a Terraform template that will deploy an Azure Kubernetes service AKS and a container registry ACR into the Azure cloud. Then we'll use the Azure identity in order to set up the authentication between AKS and ACR. When we want to deploy Docker images into a Kubernetes cluster, first I need to push those images into a container registry. Then my cluster will authenticate to that container registry through its login and password. But this means that I need to, send, to save that password into my cluster and this is not that much secure. I want to avoid this. If we are using Azure, we can use the Azure Managed Identity, which is a service that will allow Azure services to be authenticated to other Azure services. So for your Kubernetes cluster, which will be here the AKS, Azure Kubernetes Service in this case, it will be able to authenticate to your container registry on Azure, called Azure Container Registry, ACR, through that managed identity. So in this case, it means that you don't need to save any password for that container registry in your Kubernetes cluster, it will, because the authentication will be handled through that managed identity. Let's see how to implement this in Terraform template. First, I want to show you how this could be done through the Azure portal. When you go to create a new Kubernetes cluster, you would see here an option in the integrations tab where you can attach a container registry. So from here, either you attach an existing container registry or you can create a new one and that will enable AKS to be authenticated to your ACR. So it will be granted access to your uh, container registry. Uh, to see this option, make sure you select in the authentication tab, you select the system assigned managed identity because this means that your AKS cluster needs to be using the managed identity. So a managed identity will be provisioned for your AKS cluster. This also could be done through the command line where you can use the command uh, az aks uh, update and then attach ACR and then you mention the name of your ACR uh, container registry. Let's see how to implement this in Terraform. So here uh, I want to start mentioning some of the links that I have used to prepare this demo. So here uh, in the Terraform provider for Azure, I have here a sample uh, for creating a container registry in ACR with a sample uh, example here. And then another sample for creating a Kubernetes cluster, which I'll be using today. So the code for today's demo is already deployed on GitHub. So you can go check it out. That's, that's the number uh, eight demo here. And that's the same code that I have downloaded in my machine. So I start with the main Terraform template where here I want to start by creating a resource group that will host my Kubernetes cluster and my ACR. And then here I create, start by creating the ACR, the container registry. So I mention here the name of my container registry, the resource group, the location, the SKU. So here I'm choosing standard. And then I want to disable the admin mode. This means I don't want to uh, expose a login and a password for my ACR. And then I create, my, I create my Kubernetes cluster. I give it a name, a location, the Kubernetes version. And then I mention here that I want to use the system assigned identity. So this will create a managed identity and will attach it to my Kubernetes cluster so that I can use this identity to attach ACR into uh, AKS. And then I have here's definition of the variables that I'll be using today. So like the resource group name, location, cluster name, Kubernetes version, system node count, and the name of my ACR. And here are the values for those different uh, uh, variables. And in the output, I want to output the ID of my AKS, the fully qualified domain name of the control plane, and then the name of the resource group for the node pool, and the ID of my ACR, and then the lo login server for my ACR also. Now let's run this Terraform template to deploy an AKS cluster ACR and the role assignment into Azure. So I'd go to the terminal, create a new one. Make sure first you are connected to your Azure subscription. So this could be used either through the command line, through AZ login, or by creating a service principle and then attaching those uh, service principle to your uh, Terraform template. Then I'll start to run the command Terraform init to download the Terraform provider for Azure. Great, once that's done, now I run the command Terraform plan 
than the name of the output file which is going to be here tf plan. Cool. Then to output the changes I want to use the script so first I'll uh, send the output of that uh, tf plan into the tf plan.json file to write it as json then I'll go to query the tf plan to look for the changes that will be made and here it tells me this will create the Azure Container Registry, ACR, the Kubernetes Cluster, Resource Group and also the role assignment. I'm okay for that so I run Terraform apply then the tf plan. Deployment complete so here we can see the outputs which is the ACR ID, the login server for my ACR, uh, container registry, the fully qualified domain name for my Kubernetes cluster, the ID for my ACR and then the node pool used by AKS. So let's check now into the Azure portal if those resources were created successfully. Here I'm inside my Azure subscription. For now I don't have any but if I go to refresh, here we can see the resources that will be created that was created by my Terraform template and here if I go to Terraform resource group, I'll find here my Kubernetes cluster and also the container registry that was created. And those now are authenticated through using the managed identity. So where is that managed identity? So that will be created by default into the node resource group for Kubernetes. So if I expand this here where we can see the uh, infrastructure created for my Kubernetes cluster that includes the virtual machine scale sets, the VNets, load balancers and so on. But an additional resource here is the managed identity. This is the one that we'll be using in order to authenticate or to attach ACR into our AKS cluster. So here if I go to Azure ro role assignments, I'll find here that I have the role ACR pool for my ACR and that will be used by my AKS cluster. So this means now that we can pull images from our ACR without using login and password for the server. And if I go back to the resource groups to where I have the ACR, choose this one, and to here if I access to if I go to the access keys you would find that the admin user mode here is disabled so I don't have a login and password like we have here so I don't need this to be enabled I hope you liked this video if you are looking for more content about anything that is related to Kubernetes DevOps containers and Azure please check out my YouTube channel where here I post regularly some videos about all of these topics thank you